audio cut out, so this is going to be my thing. So hey everyone, this is J17 Guerrero, and I'm going to be doing a review on the Lepin 2014 edition of the Star Wars AT-AT. So basically what it just is, it's going to be a review based on the minifigures as well as the set itself. And this is all going to be based on the Chinese brand Lepin, which as we know is a fake Lego, a fake Lego knockoff, and they've been making their rounds around the internet now because of their popularity and their cheap prices, as well as their, yeah, their affordability and how close it looks to Lego. So let's get down to it. So as you can see, it's not in a box like all Legos. It's actually in a bunch of bags. Neither of these bags are numbered. That really made the set very hard to build at first, but the instructions are direct copy from Lego, so that's why it was really cool. It took a little bit longer than expected to sort out all the pieces like we did back in the day before numbered pieces, but everything else is just fine. Didn't It only took about maybe a few hours to build. So here are pictures from the set during the build. Here's the Lepin ATAT, all in its complete build. So the schematics of this are 12.1 inches tall, 12.1 inches long, and 4.5 and inches wide, which is the exact schematics of the actual Lego one. So here it is, as you see from the right side, left side, and it's based off the 2014 ATAT, which is the most recent ATAT that has been released by Lego. So the Lepin ATAT comes with five different minifigures. Two snowtroopers in the gray that are in the front. One snowtrooper commander who's in the back with the white hands. I'll show you that closer later. One ATAT -AT driver who's in the back right corner. And of course General Veers who's in the front left. So I'm going to give you a little in-depth on all of them and just to show you how they kind of stack up against Lego and my little personal opinion on them. So let's get down to the snow troopers. <clears throat> These minifigures actually, for being knockoff Legos, look pretty good. They're very, but I feel like it's just because they're very generic troopers that they're somewhat easy to make. But I mean, overall, I'm impressed. I've never had this kind of style of snow trooper. I had the old one with the backpacks connected to them, so that's the problem. Also, as you can note here, the snow trooper is missing his backpack. That is actually one of the few missing pieces that the snow trooper does have, which I'm surprised because I've heard some horror stories. I'm trying to at this point now. I'm trying to show you the head, but <clears throat> the head is actually it can't come off the helmet for some reason. It's very weak, and so is the body. So that's the only bad part about these sets is that it's not as sturdy as Lego, but it's still they look very nice. So as long as you're not Try to show off the heads, you'll be fine. So, as you see here, I'm trying to pull off the head, but yeah, it's not going to work. I tried this already. I'm going to have to just glue the head on if I really wanted to. So, next I'm going to show you the angry clone head. And this is from the old AT, this is from the old Hoth Battle Pack, if you remember it from 2012. So that's an official Lego. So the inside of the heads are the angry clone heads. They actually make their own angry clone heads, which is really cool. <clears throat> All of them have it except General Veers. So this is the main ATAT -AT driver I'm going to use until I get an actual one on Bricklink. Maybe the gray-headed one, just for, you know, shits and giggles. So next is the ATAT -AT driver. This one actually looks very good for being a knockoff. I actually like the color of it, and I think it's the same color from the original one. So, and here I am trying to get the head out. I'm actually doing my best. This one's actually a lot easier to get off, and there it is. So that's what all the angry clone heads look like in Lepin. They're a little more bolded out as opposed to Lego. So it's kind of creepy, but, I mean, I'll take it. I'm never really going to take off their heads, their helmets anyways to expose their heads. But yeah, they're very weak to come off. If anything, I would say glue, glue these minifigures together just because, like, 
any kind of little pressure will take it off. So now I'm going to get to General Veers, who's the one I critique the most. So this one, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I just have a lot of problems. <clears throat> at first, you can tell, of course, that this minifigure, well, one of his eyes is darker than the other. So if you could see is that, well, here's his back showing off the details. But yeah, if you could tell, one of his eyes is black and higher than the other, as well as one is uh, one is higher. One is higher, one is darker. So that's what I, the only problem is. So now let's get on to the set itself, which is here. Look at the 11AT-AT set as a whole. The main thing that people need or people want from this. So of course, I'm going to run in through the details and then the positives and negatives of this set. And one of the positives, of course, is the price. There's a couple negatives, but really it's like one or two. So we're going to start with the head here. So, as you get to the head, you'll notice it's exactly like an AT-AT. -AT. From the spring shooters down there to the sides, it has everything. So there it is right there, and there it is right there. Completely identical looks almost like Lego. And then the front. As soon as we pop up the hood, there we go. Hinge, hinge works very fine, nothing wrong with it. And the interior looks very identical to Legos. And right there is actually the minifigure from the old Hoth, Hoth uh, battle pack, if you all remember that, I think from like 2012 or something. So, there it is. Now we're gonna get into the body. So, the body looks stunning. Like, it looks pretty good for a fake Lego set. And right here it opens up. Everything opens up perfectly. So. I'm also on trippers and a couple are kind of knocked out right there. So, as you see, Everything opens up. So, and the hinged pieces are fine. So I'm gonna close these back up because I'm gonna show you the one negative I found about this. But actually, before I show you, let's take these guys out. It does have a trap door. You pull that, and the door is supposed to open. Oh, actually there it is, you can see it. Oh, it was already open. Oops. So, you pull that, and it opens to release all that. So, if I get a Luke Skywalker pilot, I'll deal with it. But there's that. So, I'm going to close this and this one, and then I'll show you the only bad part. So, Levin is known sometimes for their bad hinge pieces, which are these. And that's the Achilles heel of this. On the Lepin X-Wing, there's a problem with it too, where the cockpit doesn't close all the way. But for the AT-AT, this happens. So this one is completely fine. This one is not. This has the, it has the, sh the sucky part of, even when you press everything in, the hinge piece will do that. It's not a big deal. I mean, from back here, you won't notice it. If you're very keen on detail, that's it. But you can get these pieces on Bricklink. So if you really, really adamantly don't like it, Bricklink has them for like five cents. So now, whoop, don't want this thing to fall. Let's take a look at the back. Back looks fine. There we go. That's where the trap door is. Nothing, well. Wow can't lift that like that at all but there's the interior and now to close it out we're gonna end with the legs legs look fine keeps it balanced and there's a variety of poses you can do I only have one hand so I can't really pose it around but these legs can support and I know a lot of people when they look at the fake Chinese sets they're like I don't know what this ATAT -AT, like if the bricks are bad or it won't be able to support. I'll tell you, the Lego, the Lepin instruction book is exactly the Lego instruction book. It's just on less pages. Like there's so 
they they ripped off the Lego instruction book if it's the same thing. So it's made to last. But overall, or at least my final thoughts, I'm very happy with this set. This set is very, very nice. I have absolutely 100% no problem with it. It looks good. I ended up getting two, but I'm just showing you the one. I might make a, a mock soon using them. Might make change one, modify it into a, an ATACT after Rogue One. But yes, overall, good set. The only bad part about it is that it's got, it doesn't have the Lego logos on it, and the hinge pieces are really bad. But overall, it's great to get this, because even though it's a retired set, I mean, even though it's a Chinese set, the set is retired. You will not be able to find this set anywhere outside of eBay, because you're just not going to find it. So I would, I would highly recommend getting one if you just want it. If you're very keen on Lego and saying I only buy from Lego, go for it. If you very care, if you care about the minifigures, do not buy this set because the Chinese minifigures are just not good. They're very poorly made. But if you just want a set, just to say you have it and to get it at a cheap price, here you go. You want to make a, a Lego mock, a Hoth mock and get like four AT-ATs, make it battle realistic or quantity realistic get four of these 200 bucks for four of these or 300 dollars for one legit lego one so those are my final thoughts and again it's a good set highly recommend it i got it from aliexpress ali is in muhammad ali express.com i live in california so it only took me took about a week and a half to get here because it comes from china so, but it has a bunch of retired sets, as well as current sets. It has the Millennium Falcon for The Force Awakens, Super Star Destroyers, the UCS Star Destroyer from a, a long time ago. And it even has the playset Death Star, the one where you can see all the rooms. It has that too, and for less than $200. But yeah, here's the set. Hope you enjoyed this little review and build and everything.